Hey guys, it's M Beans and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today we are getting rid of this awkward space between the back of my neighborhood and my seaside carnival. Right now it's a total waste of space because you can't really see anything um, in this little transition spot and this water doesn't really do anything. So I'm going to build this up, which I'm going to cut most of that out from the video because that's super boring, but I'm going to be making this a butterfly shaped rock garden. Now my switch is a spicy switch. I don't know if you know what that means, but it means I have a modded switch and I can do a lot of things that you can't do on a regular switch. But I do try to make my modded builds pretty normal and natural looking so that it fits in and still looks like Animal Crossing. So I'm going to speed this build up. I hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be doing a voiceover as we go. So right now I'm using the modding software to spawn my rocks and place them all on those stone pathways. I time traveled to the next day and bam, they were there. Something you will see in this video is me using rose bushes. Those are a mod and you also cannot have bushes in cherry blossom season. So I'm trying to make both sides even. So you will see me going back and forth a lot and trying to figure out the shape here. And at first I was using colors like two at a time, but I decided to go back and actually alternate the colors. I felt like it looked better. So just bear with me on my trial and error. So as you can tell, I started over with that.
Okay, so now I have the wings done and I'm going to start laying out some custom designs and flowers to fill in the gaps. So I want to have a vertical bridge go right here. They told me the cliff was in the way. So I went ahead and moved the house and built out the cliff some. I'm not sure if I needed it to be built out this far, but it kept telling me the cliff was in the way, so I just kept moving stuff. You can place bridges with mods, but I tried to do that and I just couldn't get it right. So. I wanted to place it organically, it was just easier for me, and then I got rid of the cliff and moved the house back. So there's my bridge, ta-da! I made the area across the bridge a little seating area. I thought it would be really pretty to do yoga on the bridge. So I was super excited for the bridge idea to work out and it did let me destroy the cliff after placing the bridge. 
And now I want to make a picnic area on both sides of the butterfly. Most of these items are spicy items. I was like seriously struggling with custom designs. I always see people using the menu to lay out the designs, but it never works for me. It never goes in the right spot. So enjoy that. I was going to crop out all of the footage of my custom designs going everywhere, but I figured you guys would enjoy it. So you're welcome. And at the last minute, I decided to swap out for this beautiful backyard swing by Miss AC and H. I thought it was a perfect touch. So this is how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. This is the view from the front of my neighborhood and I'm going to exit the camera and you will just see it all at once. Like, isn't that stunning? This is with a wide angle camera mod on. I love the way this turned out. As you can tell, the wide angle camera kind of takes a minute to load the sides. But I'm obsessed with this butterfly garden. It matches my 
Butterfly Pond by Resident Services, which is in a previous video. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you need any help placing rocks or moving the rocks, if you need any help with mods, I can try to help you if you DM me on Instagram or comment below asking your questions. Hopefully this video won't be removed, but some YouTubers are experiencing their modded videos getting banned. I really hope that that doesn't happen to us and that it stops happening to the creators that it already has, but you just never really know. Anyways, I'll stop rambling on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and comment below if you loved this rock garden. Let me know what kind of rock garden that you have or do you even have a rock garden or are they overrated? I know that they're very hard to build without the spicy switch. I did do that on my previous island using the mannequin method. That was pretty annoying. Obviously, it's way easier with the modding software. I hope you have a lovely day, and I will see you in the next one.